Research on the coronavirus, more specifics on how it might spread in the air or on certain surfaces, and it can strike children as well. Health reporter Stephanie Stahl is here with more on the two new studies. Stephanie. That's right, Jessica. We have a second child with COVID-19 in Montgomery County. That revealed today, along with this research on what the virus did to children in China where this started. First, more on the new study on how long the virus lingers. The coronavirus can live for three days on some surfaces and in the air for about a half an hour, according to new research published in the New England Journal of Medicine. The biggest risk comes from close personal contact. That's why social distancing is so important. There's been conflicting information on the virus being airborne. The new research says some particles of the virus can travel through the air and stay suspended for about a half an hour, but they appear to disperse quickly and the risk for airborne exposure is low. On surfaces, the research says COVID-19 lives longest on plastic and steel, surviving for up to 72 hours. On cardboard, it survives up to 24 hours. Researchers say it's unclear why the virus doesn't last as long on cardboard, but it could be because it's more fibrous and absorbent than hard surfaces. They add packages that arrive in the mail might have only low levels of the virus unless the delivery person has coughed or sneezed on it or has handled it with contagion contaminated hands. If people are concerned about the risk, they can use disinfectant wipes and then wash their hands. Another study, the largest to date of children, says they can become seriously ill from coronavirus, although most develop mild or moderate symptoms. The study published online in the journal Pediatrics looked at more than 2,000 ill children across China where the pandemic began. About half had mild symptoms. 39 percent became moderately sick, but nearly 6 percent developed very serious illness. And doctors say this new research shows that children can be infected with COVID-19 at rates similar to adults, but it tends to be less severe with kids. Yuki? Now.